Here comes Prim into the lane against two Hawkeyes and swatted by Kate Martin. Return to sender. Martin got her feet in position where she could get all ball there. Martin, four points, four rebounds against FAU. Good ball fake and gets it to go. Zanano with it, kick out. Martin, ball fake, drives in. Right hand shot is good, a runner in the lane. They may have struggled to score. They're still going to do what they do best. I was thinking that. I mean, and as much as she's not for Zanano again, I think I can get enough of watching her tonight. She is just phenomenal. So they missed her when she was open a little bit earlier. Right there. Just staying under the rim. Staying in the right spot at the right time. She doesn't get... This is a time where it's just fun. You have a leader on Myers State on the court. She's going to lead her team. The new kids on the block. To get a lot of experience here. Martin, newly in the game, pulls from three and is successful for Iowa at the half. Earlier in conference play, that's a lot of block. Martin works her way inside, a big bucket mm -hmm. off the bench. Over to Kate Martin. Doyle in the paint, stops, elbow. Martin thinks about the three and she fires it and gets it to go. Top of the key. Eight on the shot clock, loose ball. Doyle grabs it, throws it to Kate Martin, who runs up with it. Doyle still back trailing. Here's Martin straight to the hole, and the layup is good. Finds Taiwo, who takes it down low. Kicks out to Martin. Martin will drive. And Martin will get it to fall. And one, center of the line for one. For three. Three. First shot first points. Monica Sonato! Give the assist to Martin! Marshall into Meyer. Long three for Martin. She knocks it down! Kate Martin at the quarter extends the Iowa lead to nine. Five on the floor for Wisconsin. It's Posh, Pisilova, Douglas, Lewis, Hilliard, and Stapleton. As Iowa with the takeaway, a feed to Marshall all alone. The layup is good. Experienced forward, good touch, and a good ability to stretch the floor. Just hasn't found the bottom of the net consistently. Inside, Sonano off glass and good. Martin thought about it, and she'll take it against Wise. Turnaround, 13-footer, that's good. That's her game right there, dribble drive. In the corner, as they shift over, Martin got that one over to Clark, and another quick pass for an easy buck. Martin, good slip, and Sonato with the two. At least flashes of it. Kick out, Martin, three ball, knocks it down. Kate Martin, the triple. Alexis Civilian has checked in for the first time. There's another example of that passing, and guess who is on the receiving end again? 14 points now for Sonato. Her awareness on the offensive end, you see this last bucket, see nobody on the weak side. And if you're the Hawkeyes, you gotta keep going to it, right? If it keeps working. And why not? They do. Sonano is not gonna miss that. A perfect eight for eight to start, and Iowa has the lead. ...defensively, and then the lob pass, only where Sonano can catch it. 
Backdoor look, beautifully done, and Meyer with the finish. Well timed. That's Iowa basketball to a tee. A little bit of an adjustment for the team to begin the year. And she feeds Meyer. Tip, return, beats the clock. Kate Martin. Yeah, they use some clock, and it's just great to see that three ball go down with seven seconds remaining. They took a page out of Iowa's book there, shooting the triple, and Kate Martin with the answer on the other end. Martin with another chance. That time she'll drill it. Yeah, you cannot give Iowa two opportunities. Once again, as I said earlier, we see Gadiva Hubbard is actually not on the court again once she is sitting out due to that injury that we saw her out with on Thursday. So Alexia Smith is actually stepping in once again for her as a starter. Um, we see Iowa has definitely had played up some with some top teams on their defense wise. So Minnesota's gonna have to be looking for all those open shots to kind of like change up the game for what Iowa might be expecting. That one to drop in. They're shooting 50% from back there early oh, here in the back. third quarter as Taiwo gets the answer. Toby Taiwo putting in some good minutes for Iowa tonight. The Spartans, you're right. Just coming back from their own COVID pause. Step through move. Kate Martin trying to build the momentum for the Hawkeyes. Well, right here, there's the freeze move. And then there's the nice little slow walker. She's had to struggle to get loose from Cardano Hillary. And when she got in the ball screen, she was able to make an efficient pass. But no need to with Martin stepping up to knock that down. Kate Martin wide open for three. You can't give Iowa looks like that. You mean she pay if you're not going to guard her a wide open bucket from Martin. We got a five point game in Iowa City. However, not quite as fast as Penn State was showing in the first half. Kate Martin has been the player of the half for Iowa. Caitlin Clark coming back in, but nope. Give it to Martin. Johnny on the spot, beating the buzzer, by the way. That's what makes this Iowa team dangerous. Yes, they have Caitlin Clark, who puts up nearly 27 a game. They have Monica Snott. They just read and react off of one another so well. Both sophomores, both evolved as young players with a lot of minutes last season, especially Ashley Owusu. Ah. It's Kate Martin taking it off the bounce. In for the easy lay -in. Either with a pass or a dribble drive, you've got to commit the middle of that zone. Martin from the corner as the buzzer sounds. They're going to count it. Kate Martin and Iowa charging hard. Let them get second touches that easily. You've got to check off a body, sit low, and slide your feet in a defensive slide and maintain contact. Well, look out, Kate Martin. You don't want her to have one of those hot shooting days. Nebraska's having a, a slight down here, too. They were 17 and 13 a season ago, 11 and 10 this year, but. I like Amy Williams' club, as that's an and one for Kate Martin. Marshall still searching inside, but there's nothing happening down low. And there it is, Sonano and one. And having those nine titles, Ohio State is next with five. A wide open look here for Marshall, and she takes care of it. Giles again with this defensive assignment. They have so many defensive choices to try to put on her. Monica Sinano picking up where she left off in the second round game. Winston looking for her first points in this game. She has not scored yet, and Martin swatted her. Oh boy, watch this one. Typed up by Winston, deleted by Kate Martin. Oh, what? And now Iowa gets its first points. Taiwo out on the right wing, right of the key. Down low, Kate Martin off the glass and the score, the off balance shot by Kate Martin. Her third field goal has six and has 56 to 30, Iowa. A zone defense, a one, two, two kind of a matchup. Kate Martin with it at the free throw line, left baseline, shot outside a three for Gabby Marshall and it's good. The timeline now to Corn Cornoyer, picked up by Gabby Marshall. Marshall seems to be Iowa's best defender and draws the opposition's best offensive player. Down low to Monica Sonano on the inside. She has Olivia Ramil. 
And Southern will counter on the inside. They go to Monica Sinano immediately. Gets a nice lob from Kate Martin in the, in the layup. She's explosive. Her three-point shooting has improved. She can even hit the hard two-point shots. Nowhere on the floor she can't score. Monica Sinano can score from just about anywhere in the paint. In the country because she's so good at using her body and understanding angles. You can see here she gets great. Here's Clark. Muscles her way in the paint. Kicks it out. Martin for three. Drills it from the right wing. And Martin out in front of the field. Dumps it off to O'Grady. Left hand scores. Williams on the drive. The lefty. Oh, Kate Martin sends it into the support. Who's been the starting point guard for the last three seasons. That one's good from Kate Martin. When you set a screen, you are going to be the most open person, just like that. Here's Kate Martin on the baseline. Dumps it down to Sinano off the backboard. Kelsey Mitchell is still playing and hooping it up with the Indiana Fever in the WNBA. Martin will line that up and knock down the three. Clark playing a lot of minutes per game, played all 40 minutes in the Hawkeyes' last matchup as a nice baseline drive there from Kate Martin. Even against Purdue, most recently, she was 5 for 14, still at 24 points. Yeah, almost had a triple-double again. Nine boards, eight assists. Stolen by Kate Martin, who's been an all-out effort player this first half. Clark. Iowa sitting in their horn set. There's going to be probably a high ball screen coming. Three seconds to go for Martin. She finds a little bit of space. That drops through at the buzzer. Monica Sinano is the Hawkeyes will get into the paint once again. It is Martin dumping it off to Sinano. Beautiful basketball by the Hawkeyes. What we come to expect. Kappen is with the board. Hagen's with the ball. She heard you. But a nice block by the Hawkeyes. Kate Martin. She tried it. You have to love the effort. Shea Hagen's knows, hey, it's time to go. It's go time. Let's get to the rim. Martin to Clark. Back to Martin. Sonano once again. Ties it once again. That's what Iowa does, the off-ball movement. That face cut from Martin. I've been waiting to see it all day. Such an artistic game. You're in for a good one tonight. If you have not watched Caitlin Clark this season, here's Gabby Marshall getting to the rim and making it a one-point game early. Shramick out, out there blocking that shot earlier from Caitlin Clark. Just that swagger from this team. They're bringing the heat right now. Three-pointer up and good for Martin. She has that three-pointer that was really, really well, well done. The moves that she's shown today are just nothing short of amazing. Knocked away by Martin will push. Fast break behind the back pass and Clark up and good for two. You want to win those home games, but you have an 11-game win streak. You want to add to that for sure. Great move off the glass from Kate Martin to respond. This is the tempo that Iowa wants to go with. They want to push it and get clean looks like that one. Well, this is why Iowa is so good offensively. They push the tempo in transition. Caitlin Clark. Ty Woe, Gabby Marshall, left-handed drive along the lane line to Kate Martin, Monica Sonato, right elbow and a score. 9.46 has been put back on the clock. I think they've got the malfunction taken care of. The Hawks on the inbound. Here is Kate Martin, a running right-handed layup only, and it just trickles over the rim. In charge at Iowa. Got Caitlin Clark to stay home. Sonano got the mismatch with Benson. Good pass by Martin, and really good recognition of the switch. Boy, Moore McNeil coming in. Moore McNeil tried to get it underneath into Brown, and... The pass was Aaron, and that's back-to-back -back Indiana turnovers. Clark down low to O'Grady, and Iowa extends the lead. Into Sonano, what a beautiful feed and finish. The reverse for Sonano, one point game, six minutes left. Iowa and Indiana going down to the wire, Monica Sonano. And then her defense has been tremendous. Rutgers at 27 in the third quarter. Sonano on the entry pass. Hillman just the one bucket, but she's been doing other things for the Wolverines. And the three ball.
Peyton Martin attacking, finishing, plus the foul. Addison O'Grady on the block. Everyone else was wide. And that creates gaps because you have shooters on the outside. You can't help off of those shooters or they will make you pay. So now you can rip and go from the elbow. Great choice right there by Kate Martin getting down. Because this is a matchup they've won before in this regular season against the Hawkeyes. It's Kate Martin going up and under. Right, and they've won. Space and pace, push and tempo. Getting up the floor and getting easy buckets. That way you don't have to contend with the quarter court defense from Iowa. Keaton Martin back to the basket. She's got it. That was the WNBA's valiant cry last year. And she's saying count that too with a big block on Jazz Shelley. Martin. Watch right here. Great timing by Kate Martin. We called her the glue. <laughs> Martin one on one, nice move around Berger. Kate Martin has come to play in this big foul baity type of game. They started playing their type of basketball and they have taken over since. Fontenot pass stolen by Martin. Martin dribbles up the floor, gives it to Sonano. Back cut to Martin, score it. Davis lobs into Sonano, good catch on the block. Kicks it out, Clark fakes the three, goes to Martin, corner three, count it. From the Bruins game notes, Belmont is good dump pass. Martin for three. Got it. Marshall passed up the three. Martin. Bang! Her turn to score. Shramick driving forward. That layup's no good. Rebounded by Caitlin Clark and showing that speed against Pospisilova. Clark passes it out to Martin. To Stolke down low, and Stolke finishes for Iowa. So there seems to be a little bit of a disconnect there. Sydney Hilliard dribbling up for that layup, but it's no good. It's going to be blocked by Kate Martin, and a deep pass in by Clark to Davis. Here's Davis. Shot clock winding down. They don't see it. Oh, back in by Martin to beat the buzzer. I mean, when it's going your way, it's going your way. Here's Davis. Shot clock again winding down. They're gonna have to jack. Martin, can she do it again? Yes, she can! Oh my goodness! Trying to split defenders, couldn't quite get it. And now Marshall with speed into the front court, handing it off. It's Martin to Sonano, and just that quickly, Iowa can score. Yeah, trying to be too aggressive going after that offensive rebound that time. Martin with force to the rim. The Hawkeyes continue to attack, putting the ball on the floor. Attack mode for the Hawkeyes up 12. Martin slow to get up there. I'm sorry, Marshall slow to get up. Buffelli. Kate Martin says not today. Back after the uh, after the last Hawkeye game, she was uh, she was down and pushes up to Martin. Martin drives to the right. Hook pass to Sonano. She's fouled from behind by Boyd. Gives it to Martin in the corner. Got it. Kate Martin for three. Better this year than their <laughs> matchup last year with Purdue. Taking it away is Martin. So crafty defensively and then back from Clark. That's Kate Martin with some pressure on the basketball, gets out in transition, and the oldest playing basketball will give and go and finish by Kate Martin. Fun matchup on New Year's Day here in Champaign. Most highly anticipated women's basketball game here in Champaign in years. Kate Martin's story, book it. Put down the three-point shot, not Michigan's strength this year. And flipping it up, it drops. How aggressive Kate Martin has been. Uh, and I, I don't know right here. It looked like she did pass it right between Leah Brown's legs. That bounce pass into the post player. And then cutting off the ball. Defenses tend to relax a little bit once your man gets rid of the ball. And Leah Brown relaxes for just a second. Three goes up from Warnock. Misses. Kate Martin with the offensive rebound. Gets it out to Clark. Back into Sonano. Out to Martin for three. Got it. 
forces the turnover, but Leilani Campanis cannot capitalize. Beautiful passing as the freshman Hannah Stolke is inside for two. Michigan State trying to deny the ball from Caitlin Clark. Hawkeyes having to go somewhere else. Martin for three, pure from the left wing from Kate Martin. The defense and the transition play of these. And having Taylor Theory at the top. And what's impressive to me is how Ohio State can play this way. Now transferring in for her last season with Iowa. Iowa showing a zone look here. And turning Nebraska over, Clark, you better stop her. Tied at 23. In waves, and Caitlin Clark, Ooh, watch out. You got to defend her as soon as she steps across half court. Stop, pop, bob. Ooh, here they come, the Hawkeyes. Number six, Iowa against number eight, Maryland. A 9-6 lead early on, and Caitlin Clark already with nine points. That was early on in the first quarter and she has not shot or scored since. Uh, Penn State has just not had good spacing offensively. Up ahead, Molly Davis extends for the layup. Well, the Hawkeyes taking good defense and turning it into better offense. Molly Davis all up in the grill of McKenna Marisa and then Kate Martins constantly keeps her head up looking ahead. Good job by McKenzie Holmes to play the high side and get the deflection. Burner wiggles around the defense, well defended by Kate Martin. Rutgers one of three to start out, but hampered by turnovers early. Beautiful basketball. You expect nothing else from the Hawkeyes as Martin. Can. You have to also move without the ball. Great timing, Gabby Marshall getting Kate Martin down here on the catch and finish. Look at the timing of that. Cut hard. Take purposeful cuts, and the ball will find you instantly. Push Pilova, she's got herself a Quite a task here tonight trying to guard their, their best player and their leading scorer from a year ago. And she's doing a great start there with the steal. A steal, a pass to Caitlin Clark and assist forward to. Really, it's up to the uh, ball handler to use the pick so she remains in stationary position. Nice pass from Kate Martin down low to Monica Stanano for the score. Kate Martin all alone drills the three. Iowa's hit four three-pointers so far. Kate Martin's hit a three-pointer. The Hawkeyes have hit six. When we come back, Autumn Johnson had a chance to chat with Martin. Kate Martin slashing in the lane. Jazz Shelley making it impossible for Martin to score, who somehow does. But Kate Martin, this is why she's the model of consistency. You put a couple of defenders in front of her. Clark in transition. Will kick it. Martin hits it from three-point land. What a start for Iowa. And when Caitlin Clark draws all that attention, her perimeter play. And they are legit. When you talk about the range across midcourt, she is in shooting range. In transition, Martin, nice move there and takes the hit as well. Kate Martin, she's been a real factor early here. This is the crowd and her team. And what else can she Kate Martin, she's got speed too, and the spin perfection. She's gonna make you pay, and then right there. Lots of time for Kate Martin, and she splashes it home. Has done a good job right there with the kick out to Kate Martin. Leaning like that to her left. That's just beautifully executed and confidently taken and made. Kate Martin, the fake and the finish. A Hawkeyes team that returns 11 players who won the title here in the tournament last year. Kate Martin, one of the five returning starters from that squad. Brenda Free said, this is not a traditional rivalry for us, but this year it feels like it is, and you feel that energy as Kate Martin with the rejection. Tremendous defense switch right here. Diamond Miller going up against Kate Martin. See a little slide down. College Park earlier this year. Martin hit one from there a moment ago. Now floats it up and in right before the buzzer went off.
That looked like it was deflected, but Kate Martin able to pick it up and finish it with the floater. Last made basket. <laughs>